Well, good afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I'll get some cold meds and stuff trying to help this voice, so I won't be hacking on you guys. Got some music nests and uh, some cough drops and stuff to try and make it a little bit better. But a little update. Um, I guess Jimmy Garoppolo thought he was going to be getting a phone call today uh, about possibly going to the Jets because it was feared that uh, Zach Wilson, who's dating Stifler's mom, um, injury isn't quite as bad <coughs> as they thought. It is not a torn ACL. It is a torn meniscus and a bone bruise. So with that, hold on. With that, um, surgery hasn't been scheduled yet, but he could be back as two as, as soon as two to four weeks. So, Jet fans, you'll get your quarterback back, um, albeit uh, coming back from knee surgery, but it's not ACL. The meniscus is basically, it's what I had done last summer. It's like a disc that's in between your knee that acts like a cushion. And so when you get a cut on that or a tear, what happens is the bones don't move smoothly, so you have pain and discomfort. Um, I had that for years. They went in, they said my meniscus basically was shredded, and they went in and they smoothed it out, and immediately um, the pain and stuff was gone away. So as far as the time for healing as opposed to an ACL, when you tear an ACL, they have to do a graft like they did with Chase Young. Of course, they take the graft out of your patella tendon and the other knee, and they breathe. It's a lot longer healing. Even for a, a simple tear where they can reattach it, it's still, you know, eight months to a year recovery time. This one is basically a cleanup surgery. So the Jets get some good news, and I guess that will still leave Jimmy G in limbo. Um, the only other point there, or the other team that seems to have interest is, and they're going to be watching what Roger Goodell does, is the Browns. The Browns, um, if it ends up being significantly longer than the six games uh, have kind of hinted that they would be interested in Jimmy Garoppolo. We know that the NFL wants him to be suspended for a whole year, and I guess there's a couple ways you can look at that because he couldn't play at all last year. This would be a second year that he'd be out. Some people say that's long enough, but who knows? Who knows? But he did get $230 million guaranteed, which is basically what Lamar Jackson is looking for. He's looking for rumors are $230 million fully guaranteed as well. It's a tough sport. They want to get paid before they're no longer usable. Anyway, um, about a half an hour from now, we'll be live streaming. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. I'll be in the outdoor man cave today. The weather's only going to be 82 degrees. It's low humidity. It's football weather at its best. And I'll be out there getting a little sunshine and hopefully having this cold uh, flow away. So let me get some meds in me and I'll see you down in the man cave. Peace.